Neopets, originally created in 1999, is an online browser game where you can play games, read up on interesting lore, talk with a community, and most importantly, raise and take care of virtual pets known as Neopets. It exploded in popularity in the early to mid 2000s with over 35 million active monthly users. It was everywhere, especially with their brand deals. It was even bought up by Nickelodeon in 2005. Since then, it changed developers and declined in monthly players, but there's no denying how big Neopets used to be. And with a monthly active player base of 1.5 million players as of 2020, Neopets is still far from dead. However, despite growing up in the early 2000s and being the perfect age demographic when it was booming, I never really got into it. But that's going to change today or this past month, I should say. You see, I decided to engulf myself with Neopets for an entire month straight. From July 1st to July 31st, I committed myself to at least one hour of Neopets every single day with the goal of becoming a Neopets master. But what sounded like an easy and joyful task ended up being a lot harder than I expected. With real struggles and genuine emotional arcs, I just barely made it through this month with my sanity intact. I could explain it all to you right now, or I could show you. I forgot to play yesterday. So I had two options, wait an entire month to do this again to start on the first day of the month, or just bite the bullet and start on the second day, so that's what I'm doing. Username, Kielvin. Oh, Kielvin isn't available. Kielvin 1. Kielvin 2. Kielvin 3. Kielvin 4. <laughs> Kielvin 4 works. That's awesome. Whew. I really don't know which pet to pick. This feels like a really tough decision. <laughs> I'm not ready to make it. Jub Jub? Who the hell wants a Jub Jub? This will be my entire first day just looking for the perfect <laughs> Neopet. Cause I'm freaking torn right now, man. I am torn. Kinda wanna go with the alpaca. Ooh, the red, yellow, green, or blue alpaca. Let's go with the red alpaca. Well, oh, we can change his bandana. <laughs> I think we're going no bandana. The, uh, no bandana on the alpaca. Now let's go with Chet. He looks like a Chet. Wait, Chet's taken? You can't just name your Neopet whatever you want. You have to go with what this says. Chet one, Chet two, Chet three, Chet four. <laughs> so when people name themselves, do they always give up around three? <laughs> oh, where does he like to live? Chet's a city boy. <laughs> What does he like doing? He likes hunting for treasure in the city. How does he greet others? Chet's a, Chet's a good little boy. He tries to make friends. Wait, what? There's there's stats in Neopets? <laughs> Looking back, this was the first sign I was in over my head. Oh my God, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to start with the tutorial. It's an, another window that doesn't seem to be loading. <sighs> I'll figure this out on my own. <sighs> As you may have guessed, this first day is me just figuring out how to navigate the website. What do you mean no items found? Did I not just get some stuff in my backpack? And figuring out what to do in general. Browsing the website wasn't very easy at first, but I slowly found some stuff. I spun the daily wheel. Trudy, that's worthless. Oh, oh, I played with fed, clothed, and gave Chet for his very own pet pet. Do you expect me to read all of this? Okay, I, I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed with all the lands, the whatever the heck. I, I want to play some games. So I then play some of the most underwhelming Flash games I have ever played. I'm gonna be honest, I can already tell you right now that this one's not gonna be my favorite. I kinda hate this one. <laughs> What was that noise? Oh man, this is so cool. Who are you? What the fuck? God, that was mind numbing, dude. After that, I attempted to figure out the shop, but I just got confused. How in depth is this game? And the community shops only made my confusion worse. How do I get the stuffed frog? I had no idea how anything worked and just wanted a normal shop. Anyway, I bought the premium membership. Awesome, I am now a Neopets premium member. June collectible is premium collectible hardcore gamer headphones? 
Okay, so how's my boy doing? He is happy, bloated. What more could you ask for? So I don't know if that was an hour on the dot, but I've been, I've been recording on OBS for an hour. So that's day one. Um, first impressions are the games aren't as fun as I was hoping for. And the website's kind of confusing. There's a lot more to this game than I thought. We'll see where it goes from here. By the way, for some reason, I immediately and subconsciously nicknamed Chet4 Chet Chet. So for most of this video, I will be referring to Chet4 as Chet Chet. <sighs> yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday, and you're gonna have to just get used to that because that's gonna happen a lot. It is day two of my Neopets adventure and I wrote a list of all the things I want to accomplish today. First, I'm gonna learn the map of Neopia. Whatever the hell that screen was, we're gonna conquer it today. Secondly, we're going to learn how the freaking store works. Third of all, we are going to find the hardcore gamer headphones that we got with our premium per subscription that I just couldn't find. I'm gonna find them today, I promise you. And fourth is to have fun. I quickly figured out that that the Neopedia was just a hub for all of the worlds. This is the day where I really figure out what this game is all about. I learned about some lore. Is this actually lore right now? This is a statue of King Altador the Hunter. Played with some interactive stories, learned how to haggle. I have to account for inflation in this game. You know what, let me try to undercut her. Completed some tasks, like taking a piece from the giant omelet. Chet Chet needs his omelet, okay? I named and talked to Chet Chet's pet pet. I had fun here and there, but so many things continued to confuse me. I didn't know how much influence I had on certain events. And with the overwhelming amount of content, plus with Flash killing certain parts of the game, like the tutorial, at the end of the day, I truly had no idea what I was supposed to focus on. I tried my best to give Chet Chet his gamer headphones, but I literally had no idea where they went. Most of my time was spent exploring all the things to do around Altador, Tyrania, Brightville, and Fairyland. I messed around a lot, learned a lot about Neopets and myself. For example, my fairy personality is a water fairy. Alright, day two of my Neopets adventure has come to a close, and I'd say I completed three out of four of the tasks I set for myself. Did we have fun? I actually kind of did. It was a lot of fun reading about the, the history of Neopets. Neo pets? I didn't know it was that freaking deep. So honestly, day two was a success. Happy 4th of July. All right, so today is day three of my Neopets journey, and I wrote a list of what we need to do. I want to build a Neo house for my boy Chet Chet. I want to get Chet Chet some new clothing. We're going to get rid of that potato sack once and for all. He needs the fine Gucci quality, you know what I mean? And as always, we have to have fun. <laughs> Okay, by far, this is going to be the most uncomfortable day, hands down. And uncomfortable it was. So I first start creating my Neo home to the dismay of my computer. What? I'm gonna go for it. I was able to secure the pad, but Flash got the last laugh as you cannot customize it anymore. However, on the bright side, I got some Gucci for Chet Chet and he loved it. I then started exploring the wonderful Neopia Central and that's when I found... Oops. <gasps> I found the gamer headphones! After a few minutes of solving the riddle that is the Neopets menu, I found it. <gasps> yes, we got his premium gamer headphones! That's right. Chet Chet had finally become a gamer. I will say, it would be nice if they were on his actual ears. <laughs> Since I had finished my checklist so fast, I finished up my business in Fairyland and City. Tried to give the wise king some wisdom. Didn't work. Explored Mirrodel, where I had the time of my life guessing the weight of this melon and failing to wake up this termaculus. Among some other stuff, of course. I finished off the day by exploring the haunted woods, where I most notably escaped the maze on all three difficulties. That's right. Then I gave Chet Chet a new pet pet. Mr. B6000, whoa. Did we have fun? Maybe a little too much fun. Now I have to go because I have to watch fireworks and like 
eight hours. So a few hours pass and I go to see the fireworks. I left the dinosaur at home as I literally broke it the one time I used it. So first I went to Walmart to return it. Afterwards, I went to watch the fireworks. But while I was laying there watching the show, I came to my first major realization of the month. I had been lacking. Happy 5th of July. I was supposed to use this silly string yesterday, but I totally forgot. But it's never too late. Oh god, it's raining silly string. Oh, oh god. Did you know that silly string is not very fun to clean up? All right, let's cut to the chase. We are going to finish the Neopia. I realized I'm coming up on a week of playing Neopets every single day, and I really just want to understand the full grasp of this game, and I'm just not there yet. And then we're gonna have fun? Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun. With my newfound motivation, I started going hard. I go on a boat tour of Kiko Lake, explore Croc Island, soared through Cree Ludor, passed by Lutari Island, braved Moltara City, and discovered the Mystery Island. During this time, I took notes of everything that I wanted to return to, and compiled a list of things I wanted to check out on a daily basis. And don't worry, I made sure that I not only explored, but had as much fun as possible while doing it. I even almost gave my computer a virus by trying to download one of their wallpapers. And that's the end of day four. Anyway, I took off the rest of the night to reflect. I cleaned the silly string off of my hands, shaved my head, and had a long talk with Chet Chet, just getting to know each other. After that, I was ready to start off day five with a bang. Welcome to day five. I hope it's day five. So I have compiled a list of all of the daily activities there are to do in Neopets that I have found so far. Like checking the money tree for free stuff, depositing into your bank daily for some interest. You can wish at the wishing well four times a day. You can get free stuff at the secondhand shoppy or shop. The Island Mystic has your daily fortune. In the deserted tome, you can make your daily risk. Tombola has a daily raffle. There's a daily haiku generator. You can share wisdom with the king once a day. There's a daily wheel. And there's a wheel that you can spin every two hours. You can visit the fairy caverns once a day. You can check for buried treasure three times a day. And you can fight off the Kraken in the governor's mansion once a day. So we're gonna go through that checklist and then we're gonna take it easy. Because I'm not gonna try to speed run this game. Because I want to know all there is to the explorer area. But also the explorer area is the game so so we're gonna take our time exploring the explorer area we're gonna play some games probably because i don't have a lot of neo points left and then we'll see where the day takes us oh yeah i wrote a little reminder for myself saying that having fun is a daily thing as well oh yeah there's also the daily surprise that's pretty important too i did everything i just mentioned plus explored a bit while taking notes but like i said i don't have to rush out everything in neo pets so i started to play some games most notably fairy bubbles not because i enjoyed it but because this game is so unfair and I wanted to prove myself better than the game. So I ended up playing just this game for over 30 consecutive minutes, and I did not make much progress at all, making this the longest Neopet session I have had yet. What? Okay, it's literally a bad game. To help relax after my infuriating fairy bubble fiasco, later that night, I had a lovely dinner with Chet Chet. All right, so yesterday on my little uh, dinner with Chet Chet, he told me he was feeling a little bit lonely. So what I did was on eBay, I bought a little vintage toy, I think is what it's called, of Neopets, obviously. And whichever Neopet is in this package, we are going to adopt. And obviously it's blind, so I have no idea who's gonna be in here. <laughs> It's a green little doggy, dude. I don't know what their names are, but look at him. He's got a little, uh, oh, I thought this was a star ear. I mean, he's kind of cute. I ain't opposed. All right. Is he a wharf? Does that mean he's a wharf? I think he's a wharf, I guess. Chet, Chet, you got yourself a little buddy. A name. Oh, no. I don't think about this. I think I'm gonna name him Wharf, because that's what, what's on here, and I thought that's what they were. So whatever wharf is, it's now you. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave her as a female. It was default. I forgot. Okay, I keep calling Chet for Chet Chet, so I'm gonna name her Worf Worf. Worf Worf is Tabba. Okay, how about Worf Worf Worf? 
<laughs> we got Chet 4 and Warf Warf Warf. The, the lovely family is growing. From here, I did my dailies. God, I'm literally trying to organize my notes right now. L look at this freaking clump. Dressed Warf Warf Warf, gave her a pet pet, and then spent the rest of my time trying to master some games. The most notable moment here was what followed after I played one game of Igloo Garage Sale for over five minutes straight. What? I played for how long and now I'm a suspicious user? I get no freaking Neo points from that because I'm sus? What does that even freaking mean? I looked up that message and found others with the exact same problem. Oh my god. So if you do too good in this freaking igloo game, they will think you are a bot. But this igloo game is so easy. So it's a waste of time. And we all know how much I value my time. So we are playing Neopets at, at night, night because Rue Island is awakened at night. I'll show you what I mean. Just beware of the inhabitants who only venture out at night. However, nothing seemed to change for me. At this point, I was kind of annoyed. Okay, so am, am I wrong about Rue Island? A couple nights ago, I didn't have much fun because of my stupid dedication to fairy bubbles. And yesterday, the game called me sus. But I was really looking forward to playing all day because of Rue Island at night. But I found nothing. So I leave Rue Island very disappointed and begin to explore other areas starting with the Lost Desert. One of the first things I do is play a card game called Pyramids. It's very simple and was one of my favorite games I had played so far. So fun, I exclusively played this for almost an hour without getting a single win. Until... All I need to win this is a two or a king. I still had some time I wanted to kill, so I begrudgingly explored the rest of the desert and then tried coping by gambling. After that, I explored the Virtue Pet space station, and that's where I decided to adopt a Grundo. Now keep in mind, at this point I had played cards for almost an hour. My brain was fried. When I was naming my Grundo, there were two other names that popped up. Those two names were names I gave to Pet Pet, so naturally I thought I was adopting a Pet Pet, so anyway I left him white and tried to call him Walter because at the time I was rewatching Breaking Bad. However, Walter was taken so I named him Name Walter. And once I officially adopted him, that's when I realized. Wait, is this a freaking Neopet? Did I just adopt a freaking Neopet? <laughs> I don't want Name Walter. <laughs> I got three Neopets to take care of. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Having an unplanned child can be stressful. I was doing well raising Chet Chet and Worf Worf Worf, but I was not ready for name Walter. I felt unfit. I didn't have many Neo points to my name, and I just developed a gambling addiction. I didn't know what to do, so I took to the bottle. Okay, so today, of course, you know, I'm gonna feed and play with my Neo pets, but I'm winning that pyramid game. I then proceeded to play over 50 games without a single win. During that mindless hour, I really had time to reflect on my past week with my pets. I thought about all the fun times we had and all the kind words they've given me. I felt guilty. These guys could have had any father in the world, but instead, they got me. An alcoholic who is addicted to a card game he cannot win. It was then I knew I needed to make a change. I am going to look stuff up. Man, it just makes no sense to take notes when I can literally look up guides, figure out the best strategies. The only reason I ever even took notes in the first place is because for some reason, I have always gone to extreme lengths to not look up walkthroughs in other games. But for the sake of my beautiful children, I will swallow my... My pride? Is that what's holding me back here? I don't know, but I'm actually gonna Google stuff today. I'm gonna first off uh, take care of my beautiful children and then 
Maybe I'll play Webkins. Webkins? My priority today is to learn as much as I can. And learn I did. The first thing I did was watch a video on the history of Neopets. The original designs of the Neopets were just the worst. I mean, all the bad flash design tropes oh are my here. God. Rains, mismatched That's colors. Bruce Forsyth and AC Gray. These were actual Neopets. What? Needless to say, the crude artwork of- I then learned about all there is to do in the game in 2022. While getting my daily pyramids in, of course, the most important thing I found was a website called Neo Jelly. It's basically an encyclopedia of Neopets and has everything laid out in a much more organized and understandable way than the actual Neopets game. Honestly, I wish this was just the Neopets website. The main thing I'll be using Neo Jelly for is making sure I'm doing all of my daily tasks and having easy access to all of the shops. And I know people are going to comment this. Yes, I tried to download a browser that would let me play all the old Flash games, but it didn't work for me. And there seems to be some risks involved with attempting to revive the Flash side of Neopets, so I won't be attempting this again in the video. After my research, I did all the new stuff I learned and had a good time. So you may think things are starting to look up. I'm finally becoming the responsible Neopets father I had always dreamed of. I am finally able to efficiently give my kids the life they deserve, but no. In fact, I felt more guilty than ever. I then went on a walk to try and work out my inner demons. No, this isn't about me looking the game up. I was happy to finally do that. It was something bigger. I have a confession to make. Back in 2012, I made my very own Neopets and I abandoned it. Now, I never really got into Neopets. I literally made him, probably played a couple Flash games, then ditched. And man, it's been eating me up this whole time. While I've been giving Name Walter Chet for War for for you know, the life that they deserve, Hut underscore underscore Jose, he's been abandoned. And I can't live with myself. It's been eating me up. So what I'm going to do is try my best to find him. I am going to scour old emails, try password, username combinations that I think I might have done in hopes to be able to reconnect with hot Jose and it did not take very long to find a lead <gasps> no that's literally the password I copied and pasted from the email I've let I've let him down there's only one way to make up for this I am going to recreate hot Jose this isn't the same thing as being able to care for my original Neopets, but hopefully with Hot Jose 2, we can make up for lost time, and hopefully I can redeem myself to some degree. I know it's not the same, but it's the best I can do. After that, I of course took care of the kids and then did my newly learned dailies. This was actually the most fun I've had on Neopets yet. The removal of my guilt and my newly found knowledge of the game really helped me genuinely enjoy myself. After my dailies, I went back to some games and I started dominating. In my opinion, you could only do some so good at fairy bubbles, but I was learning the other games way better. I was finally able to even make a few shots in Ultimate Bullseye 2 for the first time, which was a miracle as far as I could tell, but hands down the game I spent the most time playing was Ice Cream Machine. I was a beast at it. I even went back to this game later in the night to play more. I was unstoppable, a true menace to the ice cream. There was nothing that the delicious frozen treat could do to stop me. So there is one thing in Neopets that I've been avoiding this entire time on purpose. I have not once even tried out the battle mode. So today's plan is to do all my dailies, of course, lick this ice cream, and then figure out the battle mode. The delicious ice cream also inspired me to give my Neopets some fabulous visual upgrades. Aren't they precious? So I tried to figure out the battle dome and how to level up Chet Chet, but not gonna lie, it was not very exciting. I did get a win, but I hardly knew what was happening. So I decided to watch some videos on it while playing some games off to the side. I think the only way to level up your Neopets is through doubloons. And getting doubloons is something I have been trying to do so many times but continue to fail at, considering the fact it's based on RNG. So instead of battling that day, I just watched more Neopets content while playing more Pyramids. And if you were wondering, at this point I had played 99 games and won zero times.
I'm gonna play some Neopets. That's right, I really decided to spice things up by playing Neopets. You know the drill. I played with my pets, did my dailies, and played some games. I originally wanted to give the Battle Dome another shot, but I decided, no, that's boring and I don't understand it. However, I did go to the community tab and ask people about it. I'm gonna adopt another Neopet today. Okay, so my original plan was to adopt a Neopet every one week, and I didn't originally intend to have two extras by this point, but it is what it is, I'm not, and I'm gonna stick to my guns. I know it hadn't been two weeks yet, but I got confused because I started this challenge a day late. So the 13th day actually fell on the 14th day, if that makes any sense. And I do wanna create one. I would adopt, but I have one specifically in mind. For some reason, I really like this bug Pokemon. I really like buzz. Yes, I accidentally and unironically called the Neopets Pokemon. After two weeks of playing Neopets, I still don't know what they're called. I'll see myself out. So I'm gonna make a female buzz. I really feel like we're lacking some edginess in here, so we're gonna go with XX Emo X Bug XX. My family is growing and so is my love for them. So the rest of this day, along with day 14, 15, and 16, was filled with me doing the exact same stuff. Taking care of my pets, doing my dailies, and then playing games. Everything had gotten so routine and I was getting bored. To bring some excitement, I even bought a pack of Neopet cards, which was cool for the moment, but it doesn't solve the overall problem. Even though it looks like this Blumaroo has an exposed ball sack, which is the funniest shit I have ever seen. So here's the thing with this video. Neopets is a very casual game and I'm taking it seriously. So it was really only a matter of time before I would hit this wall. And now to answer the big question, do I actually enjoy Neopets? Well, to start, all the games suck. I think you can see why. And the dailies are literally gambling. Oh, maybe the wheel will land on something good. Maybe today the king will laugh. Maybe the plushie will give me something awesome. Trudy's surprise is a freaking slot machine for crying out loud. Even the stores feel like gambling. You see, whenever they say they're out of stock and will restock in eight minutes, they're lying. What you have to do is load up all the shops that say this that you want to check and just rotate between them, refreshing to see if they're in stock yet. And then you have to hope there's something good in there. And when I'm bored of all of these things, what else is there? to do. There's not a whole lot left since I've already read up on as much lore as I could find. It seems like people who have been playing this game for years are really still just playing to collect cool and rare stuff from the shops. But as someone who just started playing, that sounds overwhelming. It sounds like I have a huge uphill battle to really even start my collection, and I don't really want to even start a collection in the first place. Not to mention, sometimes when I buy stuff and put it into my closet, it seems to just disappear? I'm not sure if this is a UI problem with the website or a problem with my brain not being good. But either way, I'm even losing motivation to dress my own Neopets. So I know what you might be thinking. You still have 14 more days of Neopets. What are you going to do to fill the time if you're already so bored? Well... I bought a printer! Throughout the lands of Neopia, there's a lot of places to print out coloring pages, and I thought it'd be a missed opportunity to not take advantage of it. Now I want to take a moment and explain how much Neopets I've actually played so far. 17 days in, I have played, watched videos on, or colored in Neopets for at least one hour a day, followed by one to two hours of me writing this narration and editing after the fact. So let's call it two and a half hours every day of Neopets, meaning that in 17 days, I I have spent about 42.5 hours surrounded by Neopets one way or another. I know that may not sound like much for some people, but first of all, this is Neopets, not whatever addicting game you're into. It's fucking Neopets. Second of all, I'm trying to do this while working on other videos and trying to keep up a normal healthy lifestyle. So as far as I'm concerned, 42.5 hours is a lot. And who knows, maybe I'm even underselling the time I've put into this game. Hey! So today is my get out of jail free card. I am gonna be on the road for like five hours today. I'm gonna be getting a tattoo with my sister. We'll reveal that later. Uh, but since I'm not gonna be home for most of the day, I don't want to force myself to play Neopets when it's gonna make me die. It's gonna overwork me or whatever. Cause it's stressful, okay? So what I'm gonna do today is spin the wheel of Monotony. This wheel can take anywhere between a few hours to a whole 24 hours to spin. So, I knew I, I had to spin this at least once in this 30 days. And I choose today to do it because I'll be gone for the longest. So, let's spin. 
And I'll be back. I made you a cookie, but I eated it. Hey, do you want a drawing I made? I colored it in a picture. Like yeah. Oh, there you go. Do you want, do you want a coloring piece? <laughs> I'll tattoo that on you. <laughs> yeah. How about that? And this will be the payment, right? No. No. Yeah. All right, fair enough. All right, let's see what it landed on. From the peak of Terror Mountain to the depths of Pico Lake, I find myself in the space station, lying awake. The jelly was fresh. Now that is true. But my heart yet refreshed. I needed a Gnorbu. Wheels spun. Fairy bubbles burst. Yet this wasn't for fun, but to feed my thirst. From potato sacks to gamer headphones, I could finally relax on the Ruse throne. Not everything was well, though. Cards and pyramids slowed me down. I adopted a Grundo. I wanted to beat him into the ground. At the end of the day, my Gellert, Z-Talk, and Buzz are enough to make me stay. But I'm mostly here because, no it's not for any Neo points, nor is it for you. Sorry if this disappoints, I'm in it for my bro, Gnorbu. That's my submission for the Neopets Poetry Contest. I hope it does well. By the way, Neopets also had a data breach during this time where over 69 million users had their information potentially stolen, so that's awesome. <laughs> It is another week down of Neopets, and I'm going to adopt my final Neopet of the series. There are plenty of beautiful Neopets that I would love to adopt. However, I am going to leave this up to random chance. I counted and there are 42 different Neopets. Let's see which one the gods are going to bestow upon us. Okay, 16. So, 5, 10, 15... A jub jub? I don't want a freaking jub jub. All right, let's do a blue jub jub. I'm gonna name him Cletus. It's of course gonna be taken, so I'm gonna see how many E's it takes for it to not be taken. <laughs> I didn't even count, but there you go. We now have Cletus. Uh, this this guy is just made for people with fee fetishes. That's all there is to it. I don't I don't like jub jubs that much that's kind of selling me right now he can't even wear clothes properly okay here's what i'm thinking that's jub jub's only clothing he'll be getting this entire rest of the week and i don't think i'm gonna feed him everyone else they get their omelets and whatnot all right now that we have all the children we're going to have i'm gonna stop playing the website as much but that's not to say i won't be playing neopets because i got two beautiful neopet games right here that i'm gonna play for the rest of the week I still, of course, played the regular Neopets every day to do my dailies, feed my pets, aside from Cletus, of course. But my main focus was on these two games. Days 21 through 27, I spent hours playing The Darkest Fairy. It's an action-adventure game made in 2005 for the PS2. Going into this game, I was excited given all of the great reviews. I was really thinking that maybe I have a hidden gem on my hands. But I didn't, and this game was awful on all accounts. From the minute you put the disc in to the very end, there is almost almost no fun to be had. Anyway, I logged in around 16 hours of the game in a matter of 6 days. I'll quickly give you a rundown of this game. It's split up into 4 chapters. Chapter 1 is the introduction, of course. The tutorial went on for hours, and the literal gameplay loop of this chapter was darting back and forth between menial tasks. During the sword training section, I was sent out of the courtyard to do the most boring tasks and sent right back at least 5 times. Rinse and repeat that for almost 5 and a half hours. Chapter 2 is really short. In my opinion, it's really just an excuse to introduce you to the second main character and give exposition. The gameplay doesn't get any better here, but everything was way more compact and simpler. Act 3 is the longest act in the game. You can now switch between the two characters, which is cool as they do offer two different gameplay styles. The majority of this chapter is backtracking to places that we've already been to in the first chapter, but now things are like slightly different. The rest is exploring new areas and dungeons. Here it really feels like this game 
game is trying to be Zelda but failing miserably at it. Act 4 honestly could have been completely removed from the game and nothing would have changed. It is the easiest chapter by a mile, but everything is so tedious and drawn out, there is no doubt in my mind. They only added this chapter to pad time, despite the fact this game already has a lot of main and side content in it. Even the plot in this chapter feels like filler. They could have had the exact same final boss fight at the end of chapter 3, but they prolonged it by having the main character drink an actual giant glass of stupid juice. And yes, obviously throughout the game the story isn't great. It was cool seeing characters and places that I recognize from the actual Neopets game, but that's really the only points I give it. The combat by itself really isn't that bad. It makes sense and there's an entire magic side that adds a bit of depth to it. However, this game is so glitchy and unreliable, the combat was an absolute chore. One glitch in particular would just freeze me in the middle of a fight, and I would be forced to reset from my last save point. That glitch happened periodically throughout the entire game, all the way to the final boss. I hate this though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start by killing this fucker. You are joking me! Oh, Snap me out of it! So anyway, like I said, I beat the game in 16 hours and 6 days. Moving on to the DS game. I'm not sure how many hours I got out of this game, but it was probably around 4 or 5 hours between day 28 and day 29. In this game, I had to make a new Neopet named Chuck! This game is actually pretty fun. It's a fun puzzle game that's easy to pick up. At first, I noticed that the game was getting more challenging as it went on, until I realized a strategy that could end most games with a very simple set of moves. Since you go first every match in the game, it's very reliable depending on which board the puzzle is on. So by the end of the game, I was finishing matches in what I assume is the minimal amount of possible moves. And honestly, this strategy is only possible because the AI is stupid. So this exploit that I found is not a byproduct of the bad game design, but a byproduct of the stupid AI. I ignored the lengthy and frivolous story as it was lengthy and frivolous. Also, going between levels takes a stupid amount of time for what it is. I didn't record my game as I couldn't record my 3DS, but here's two pictures between the two days showing my progress. Between playing the browser game, writing the script, editing, coloring, watching videos, playing the PS2 and DS games, it's hard to tell how many hours I spent involved with Neopets this month. There are things in the browser game that I never really saw the full extent of, like the Battle Dome, and I never got to experience the dead pages that Flash killed, or really interact with the community too much. However, I do understand it all. I read a lot on Neo Jelly and watched a lot of videos, but I suppose I am lacking experience in some of those areas. However, I think the pure knowledge of the gameplay and lore, plus the hours I did sink into the game counts for a lot. And how many Neopet players do you know that own some merch and have played these two games to their full extent? So did I actually master Neopets in a month? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. And for now, excuse me as I finish off my last day. Day. Chet 4, Warf Warf Warf, Name Walter, Hot Jose 2, XX Emo X Bug XX, and you. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. <laughs> I don't even know what these are. Okay, Tuscan Any. Let's do it. <laughs> and you. Cletus. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with all of you guys this past month. All the memories we share, I will cherish them forever. <laughs> I haven't fed Cletus once. He's dying yet content. <laughs> Relatable, really. I know since I'm a parent, I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but Chet Chet, oh, he is my little baby. I will cherish him the most and miss him the most. Because let's be real, after this month, I don't think I'm going to play Neopets a ton. But regardless, I am really happy to have this experience. If you're wondering whether or not you should play Neopets for yourself, especially after watching this video, I think it's fun to learn all of the lore, maybe have your own little pet, you know, get a connection going. But other than that, I mean, play casually or just burn yourself out in a month. <laughs> It's whatever you want to do, I don't know. But wow, I really played a lot of Neopets in this past month. And I have five minutes left. I know exactly how to spend it. Dang it. <laughs> 